Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to Let's Play Rampo, which is a, a game for the Sega Saturn uh, that uh, was released in Japan, only in Japan, I believe. And um, before we actually begin, let me just quickly, you know, explain a little bit about what this game is. This here is just asking, you know, which um, where we want to save the game to a internal memory or to like. I guess the, the memory cartridge. I don't I'll, honestly. I don't really know too much about the Sega Saturn, but I, I guess like you would have like some memory on the system itself, and then you can get memory cartridges or something. I'm not entirely sure. But basically, this game here, right, is kind of based on the life of Japanese, or not based on the life. It's like it's like a weird fictional. Uh, it's sort. I guess you could sort of say it's you know. A fictional take on the life of uh, Edogawa Rampo, who was a, a Japanese author, um, mainly a writer of like mystery fiction in like the 1920s, 30s, uh, and whatnot. And um, his uh, his name is actually a no, his pen name Edogawa Rampo is actually like a pun on it's like a play on words of Edgar Allan Poe, which uh, will actually come into a uh, play a little bit later on um, and uh, yeah this is here this here is basically like an FMV adventure game that came out for the for the Sega Saturn uh, I found out about this like I was just watching random YouTube videos on like you know weird old obscure Japanese games and I found out found out about it um, and it looked pretty cool because I had actually um, I have actually read some of uh, Edgar Rampo's works. Um, I really like his, his story, um, The Boy Detective Club. He's also done some other stuff called, there's the, um, another famous one called uh, The Human Chair, about this guy who like lives inside of a chair. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I was really curious to see what this, what this is like. Uh, this game comes on two discs, and I have played through one disc just to make sure, like, just to see how everything works and whatnot. Um, but after that, everything will be blind. Uh, but without further ado, let's begin. I'll, I'll explain other stuff as we as we need to. This here is a, and I, I can also pause when needs when, when need be because you know there aren't there are no subtitles and. You know, it is all in Japanese, so I will have to pause sometimes just to be able to translate some stuff. But, um, you know, this, uh, it says, you know, reality is a dream. The dreams that we have at night, they are reality. Apparently that's like, a, like an actual quote by Edogawa Rampo. So I, Edogawa Rampo, uh, you know, had t t taken the world by storm by, you know, writing, you know, thrilling novels. Like, th like, like I, I, you know, I had, you know, become like a, like a popular author and whatnot. You know, my novels, you know, just after I write them, you know, they they get published in magazines, and even uh, become movies. Uh, one other thing I also I just wanted to mention that I forgot to mention, but uh, this game is, to my understanding, partially based on a movie that came out the year before. Apparently, there was a, a movie also called Rampo, which um, shares some of the actors. I'm not entirely sure. I I, I don't think that this the game is in. In, an entire like you know remake of the of the movie's story but like they just kind of I guess while they were making the movie they might have just said hey let's make a game as well um I don't really I'm not entirely sure what the connection is in story but I just wanted to mention that there is a movie and uh you know imagine that these scenes we're watching here might actually just be from the movie but um you know my novels you know have, have been basically declared to be I guess you know 
it, 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 people, my, my, my novels are getting, you know, rated as you know, going against public, you know, mor- morality and public decency and whatnot, um, and um, are becoming, you know, banned from being being sold. You know, I've, and I've become, you know, I, I, I've begun to feel, you know, meaninglessness as an author. And so, eventually, you know, I've begun to, I guess, feel, I've begun to doubt, you know, the worlds that I've created, and my, you know, my pen is no longer, like, literally, like, 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 my, like uh, I can't write anymore, basically, you know, my, my pen does not progress, basically, it's like, it's like the way you worded it. And, you know, on one of those days, you know, an event happened that would change my writing life. Rampo. Press any buttons. I also want to make sure that everything plays out. Okay, press start. As a the beginning of the Showa era, which I what's so like late nineteen twenties, basically. I guess is what this would be. Um, it says uh, March twenty fifth. It's no good, you know, I, I can't write what I can't write. Okay, so this character here is, um... Apparently, he's also based on a real person, uh, Yokomizo Seishi, who apparently, I guess, was, um, I guess, like, his big, uh, like, like, he was, in, in this context, he's uh, Edogawa Rampo's editor, um, but I believe he might have also been, like, a writer of his own, but I'm not familiar with any of his works. Um, uh, basically, you know, Yokomizo here, uh, Addresses us as sensei, you know, meaning you know, teacher uh, or whatever. And uh, Edogarampo responds, uh, you know, he, you know, he's going to the. This isn't actually explained, like, like straight up said outright. But basically, I guess in this universe, like, I'm not sure if this is. I don't think this really happened in real life. You know, I don't think. Um, I'm like I'm not entirely. Sure. I, I I don't really want to you know speak for certain, but uh, I'm not sure if this is actually you know non-fiction here. But uh, in this universe, Edgar Rampo here has basically become a landlord. Uh, I guess because you know he you know, he's not doing so well as an author right now. 
and he basically says, you know, I'm going to the uh, the boarding house to, uh, you know, today today's the date to uh, collect rent. Will, will, will you come too? Yokomizo? You know, because, you know, because, you know, sensei, you know, you're spending all your time, you know, on this part-time job or whatever, like, on this, not, not really part-time job, but, like, you know, if you're devoting all your energy to this, to, you know, to being a landlord or whatever, that, uh, that's why you can't, you know, write anymore. You know, think about you know the people that are you know waiting for your next you know new novel, your your new new work. You know, me, you know, me and you know, what about me as your editor? And he got kind of cut off. Wait, you know, I'll, I'll come too. No, that's, a, that's Nonomura san, isn't it? I'm, I wonder if he went to the bathroom. Yeah, let's um, you know, get the rent and uh, return to work. And so here is the gameplay, folks. Um, the safe state. Now, basically, this game works the way this game works. Um, you know. I'm not too familiar with um, FMV games, honestly. You know, there might be a lot of other games that are kind of like this. So I, I, I personally don't, I personally don't have much to compare it to because I'm more used to, you know, point and click, point and click games where you actually click on stuff. But this is more of a instead of a point and click, it's more of a walk and look. Like a, there's never really an option to like select more than one thing on a screen. You either look at, you either walk up to something, click on it. And that's basically that. First, let's uh, quickly come in here. I guess this here is, I guess, is our like our, our room to like rest and whatnot. As you can see, we have a painting of Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, you know, the real Edgar Allan Poe on the wall. And we can also return to the room that we were just in, like the room that we were riding in. And I found that um, generally the game kind of the way the game works is like you either kind of kind of expect you to return to this room, or that room back there, like once you've like finished everything for the day, like I guess like to like. When there's nothing obvious to do, like left to do, you either go to one of those two rooms and usually something will trigger. What are you doing? You know, that's a that's an empty room. You know, because like I said, I have uh, played this first disc, so I do. This is also a uh, an empty room. It looks like uh, Nonomoto is still in the, uh, the the bathroom. Yeah, he's the one. Nonomoto is the one that we just saw walk out and go to the bathroom. Huh? Hey, I, I heard something. No, he's he's uh, pretending not to be. You know, he's pre pretending to be away. You know, hey, uh, Mr. Todoroki, you know, we, we know you're there. You know, don't, don't make us, you know, you know, don't make us, like, bother you or whatever. You know, we're, we're busy. Yo, sensei, you're bad. You're bad. You know, since I was, um, you know, I was taking a nap. 
So you want the uh Do you want do you want the rent? Here here you go. Nah, sensei. Hey, 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 teacher, you know, I, 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 I'm just going to try to probably try to go with um sensei because uh, I think I feel like it trying to translate sensei can be a little bit weird. But uh, basically, you know, hey, man, like you, you really need to uh, lower the rent because, uh, you know, recently, you know, the weather has been pretty poor and, um, you know, we, um, so Mr. Todoroki here, I believe, is a, um, he's basically like a sort of market, uh, like he sells stuff at like vent, like, um, stalls outside, uh, you know, he basically says, you know, you know, we can't, you know, you know, you know, you know, stall salesmen like, like me, you know, we can't, you know, put up with, with the rain. You know, so consider it for me. まあ、そう言わないでさ。一つよろしく頼むって。嘘そう。それとよ、屋根裏に猫が入り込んじまってるらしくてよ。ガタガタうるせんだよ。なんとかしてもらえねえかな。Also, you know, I think the others a cat got up into the attic. You know, you know, it's it's just really you know rattly and noisy. Uh, would would you do something about it for me? So, you know, I'm counting on you, man. So we got the rent from Mr. Todoroki. <laughs> so. You know, he wants us to lower the rent. He wants to deal. Wants us to deal with the cats. Uh, you know, he's a fellow with a lot of complaints. You'll be seeing a lot of uh, Yogomizo, like like Ram, like Rampo himself will also you know chime in every now and then. But from what I've seen, like Yogomizo is almost. I don't know, like. I'd say um. When talking to, I feel like Yokomizu sort of like mainly talks to us, but like Rampo himself actually usually talks to you know, the, the characters in game. That's uh, Nonomura again. Oh, since uh, today is the day for the rent, isn't it? Yes. I've uh, prepared it. I, you know, I made sure to prepare it for you. Sorry, to Sensei. Tokidoki, Dokoka no Hiakara, Onna no Hitono Koya Kikoite Kurundesno. And by the way, you know, uh, every now and then, I'm, I, I hear a woman's voice coming from one of the rooms. But, uh, you know, women aren't allowed in this boarding house, right? I wonder if I could uh, have you investigate for me. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be going. Shikash, it's me, Timo Kimachari Otogodana. So, you know, that's one creepy guy. Unna no Kuegasu to eat it, eh? He said he, uh, Heard a woman's voice. I wonder if someone's. I wonder if someone's brought a woman inside. 
<laughs> just love your uh, facial expressions. You know, it wasn't, um, I don't think it's ever really straight up told to us. It, was, it wasn't told to us there, but, um, this person, his name was, a uh, uh, Mr. Fukuoka, who, uh, I guess is some sort of cross-dresser or something. Well, before we head in there, let's quickly... I'm inside. I'm here. That's a Nonomura, apparently. He's in the bathroom. It's a, some sort of sink or something. Uh, oh, I'm not sure if we could actually. I'm not sure if. It, was, it, was, it might have been pretty quiet, but uh, there was a woman's, a woman's voice basically saying, like, Oh, no, wait. I can't do that. We can't do that. Hey, Sensei, wasn't wasn't this room meant to be an empty? I thought this room was empty. Why? Hey, you know, hey, hey, Sensei, you know, it looks like some sounds like someone's uh using this room to a uh, you know you know meet up. You know, secretly meet up with their with their lover. It's a. It's a. It's locked from the inside. So you can't get in unless we have the key, or unless we unlock it. Let's head. I believe this is probably this will probably be explained to us some at some other point. But like I said, I have uh, played this section before. And here we have the the kagitaba, the bundle of keys. It's the, it's the keys to the uh, to the rooms. Let's go. Oh, that's on the that's the door outside, which we can't go there yet. We are going to put an end to this to these shenanigans. Let's uh, use the key. Weird. The key to to room number five is is, is missing, and then uh, Yokomizo says, "Oh man, someone must it must have been stolen by someone." Or, oh, I wonder if someone stole it. What should we do? Hmm. Anyone here see the missing key? Uh, yes, uh, what is it? Let's show him the keys. Is something up wrong with the keys? Okay, so he's not... He, he doesn't seem to be of uh, much help. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, I'm, you know, shut up! I'm trying, trying to sleep here. I might uh, turn the volume up a little bit by the next part because uh, it is a bit. Some parts are a bit quiet for me to hear. Is he still in the bathroom? Like, I wonder if he's got the runs. So let's head to... Let's head back to our little room here. See if uh, it triggers any any sort of, like, briefing. And 
Nope. I do have an idea of where we might want to go next. Look at that. Here we have um some sort of like masks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing that. I think where we want to go next. Let's um, let's use the keys to get in here. Oh yeah, here's a you know this place was an empty room and um. And before we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to, to get in, but now that we've got the keys, we can enter. Oh, really? So you can get to the attic from here. And the room across is also an empty room, but I'm pretty sure, I don't think it has really anything. Like, there's a window there, but... I don't... Oh, this, is, this place is dusty. I don't think the other the room across really has any function from what I've played so far. And you see, each of the rooms basically ha has like a little hole above it. I just uh, turned the volume a little bit. And then here's the empty room across the hall. Oh, you was uh, the cat's gotten up again, huh? You come out. Oh, well, that was that was scary. Yeah, this is the uh, Nonomura's room, and he's he's in the bathroom. I think that's the room that we want to look into, but uh, let's just also see what Mr. Fukuoka is doing. <laughs> what are they doing? I wonder, like, does he want to become a model? Uh, think over what we were just talking about. It's, it's no good. I can't do it. Oh yeah, he, he indeed is using this place to uh, to meet up with women. Let's uh, ambush him at the bottom. Let's go. And if you noticed, um, he that fella's got a rather large mole on his on his jaw. I'm not sure if it's real. Like, I always wonder if it's like a fake thing for the game. Cause uh, I, 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 at first, honestly, I wondered when I was first playing this. I wondered if it was actually just like a microphone that got like caught on. Like, I'm not sure if like my little microphones like that, those little um, lavalier microphones existed back then. But um, I was like, is that a microphone? But um. Some characters will actually mention the mole. Oh, what is it? He ran away. Oh, 
can sort of fold it up bedding. They, uh, it's a copper coin worth, uh, like a bronze copper coin worth, um, I think, it's, it's worth two sin, um, which I believe is like, um, let me just quickly actually, I'll just quickly do some uh, research to make, make sure I'm not wrong. I just um, checked, and so the sen was a currency, you know, in modern Japan, you just have the yen, but um, there was also, there used to be the sen, which was basically 100 sen made up a yen. Um, and apparently they were taken out of circulation in 1953. No, hey, uh, sense, sensei, what are you doing? Sensei, you Hey, uh, no, 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 you know, we, we've, um, you know, sensei here came to collect print. Oh, is that the case? Um, uh, come to my room, I've, uh, prepared it for you. you know, for the time being, let's, uh, just, let's get the rent. Let's go to Nonomura's room. He looks like a fine dandy young student. Hi, Sensei. Here you go. I'll, um. <laughs> he's basically given us three months worth of rent. Like a. So, uh, like. And he's like proudly announcing it. Like, I give you three months. In advance. I, um... Cause I, I guess, like, he, uh, got a bunch from, like, his hometown, like, a uh, Or something. It's quite the... Quite, quite, quite economical. The economy is going well. I'll have to, uh. Yeah, I'll have to pay you. Yeah, I have, I have uh, I got my studies, so, uh. I'll, uh. Take my leave. Okay then, so we have a coin. Sensei, what are you Head back to our room here. Okay, nothing. Let's head back to the other room. I'm pretty sure. I think sometimes this room is like where they want you to go. Sensei, 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 sensei. Hey, uh, no, sensei, did you? Get a good look at the two people that were, you know, meeting up. You know, you know, and that Nisen coin, you know, what's the deal with it? You know, well, uh, you know, well, Sensei, you know, I'm gonna be heading off about now. <laughs> sensei, 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 Could you um, you know, give me a give me a cigarette? Like a. 
you know, basically asked for like for a cigarette and like a. I'm actually not, I couldn't quite catch what he, what he said there. Like um. Oh. I don't have any cigarettes. I guess I could give give. Tascarimas, sensei. I think maybe actually might have um. He might have said, you know, at least or at least give me some money to get one. I think he might have. Maybe I I I, I can't, I'm not entirely sure exactly what he said before asking like before he held his hand out, but I think he might have. It it would match the context. Hey, um, Sensei, this, uh, you know, this coin is a bit weird. Dun dun dun! Sensei! Sensei! It's a letter! It says March twenty seventh at three o'clock. What, what, what could this be? And he's just uh, reading out the date that was that was on it. March twenty seventh, three o'clock. I had no clue. Well, uh, just um, let's leave the investigation to tomorrow. Yeah, and um, you know, so we don't forget all our all our progress. Let's uh, write it down. You know, it might uh, prove to be a you know the inspiration for a novel. And I'm, and I'm, uh, I'll uh, come back tomorrow, and, uh, I'm translating, um, some of the stuff that Yokomizo says with, the, with, the, with, um, the word let's, but it's more kind of like, you know, the let's kind of like, uh, like kind of urging someone to do something, like he's not, you know, Yokomizo, you know, isn't going to be doing any, any writing of his own here, but, uh, it's kind of like, hey, you know, let's, uh, kind of like saying let's do it, like kind of, as I was saying, you know, it would be a good idea to do that kind of thing. So, you know, a man and a woman who, who, whom I've never seen are using an empty room of the boarding house to, uh, to meet up. And someone stole the key to that room from my storeroom. Those two, you know, those two probably stole it. Or someone else in the boarding house. You know, the uh, the weird like trick to the coin. You know the letter that said March twenty seventh at three o'clock. You know it's probably some sort of uh, some sort of arrangement, some sort of promise or meeting. But uh, for the time being, I'll just um I'll ask the residents of the boarding house about the uh, the coin tomorrow. And if I do that, I might, I might understand something. You know, some some sort of truth might come out. So where will we save it? Pick number one. From what I can tell, you can't actually save the game on your own volition. You can only save it at certain points. But now we have a. Uh, it says March twin. Uh, March. 26th, uh, 
So since that's the first day, I think I might actually call the video because we're actually going a bit long. But uh, till next time, hope you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the game seems interesting to you and um, whatnot. Well, what will happen tomorrow? Find out next time on Let's Play Rampo. Till then, look it out.